हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज ऑफ क्लास थर्ड चिल्ड्रेन माई सेल्फ स्निग्धा मिश्रा योर ई वी एस टीचर आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर फाइन एट योर होम चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लेसन नंबर सेवन दैट इज द एनिमल वर्ल्ड इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल गो थ्रू द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स साइज शेप्स where animals live how animals move bodies of animals food habits in which we will discuss the three topic herbivores carnivores and omnivores after that uncommon animals and how are animals useful to us so let's start our lesson and the first topic of this chapter is introduction there are different kinds of animals that live around us they are of different shapes and sizes each of them need food water and shelter to survive children the earth is the only planet where life exists human being plants and animals all live on earth there are different kinds of animals that live around us they are of different shapes and sizes big or small each of them need food water and shelter to survive now the next topic is types of animals different types of animals live in different places animals are of various types in terms of sizes shapes the way they move the food they eat etc children different types of animals live in different places they live on land in forest in water on trees and under the ground animals are of various types in terms of sizes shapes the way they move and the food they eat first one is size animals vary in size from very small to large first one is large big animals some animals are quite big in size for example elephants giraffe whales etc children some animals are quite big in size the blue whale is the largest animal on the earth it lives in water on land the african bush elephant is the largest whereas the giraffe is the tallest animal some animals are medium sized like hippopotamus sark horses camels lions tigers these all are the examples of medium sized animals now the next one is small animals animals like dogs rabbits goats parrots are smaller in size children this type of animals are small in size such as dogs rabbits ducks parrots goats cats etc many of these are kept by people as pet here in this following picture you all can see the image of few large big and small animals now the last one is very small animals there are animals that are very small in size for example ants worms mosquitoes etc now the next one is shapes animals not only differ in sizes but also in shapes children animals are different in size also some examples are there first one is snake and worms snake and worms have long bodies children snake and worms have long cylindrical bodies they do not have feet next one is fish fish have streamlined body fish have streamlined body which help them to swim easily now the next one is horses deer dogs they have four legs and compact bodies now the next one is birds birds have feathered wings and hollow bones hollow bones and feathered wings help them to fly easily now the next one is crocodile and lizard they crawling with long bodies narrowing at the end 
Now the next one is insects. Insects have many legs and small bodies which is divided into three parts. Now the next one. Children, some animals are there which have unusual bodies like starfish, jellyfish, octopus, sea anemones, etc. Now the next topic of this chapter is where animals live. Animals are found everywhere on our planet. The place where they build their homes is called their habitat. Depending on the type of habitat they live in, the animals can be categorized into following categories. Children, we know that human beings, plants and animals all live on earth. Like plants, animals also form very important part of environmental. Animals can live on land, in water or in air. Different animals are found living in different places. The place where animals live is called their habitat. They develop body features that help them survive in their habitat. Forest is the natural habitat of most of the wild animals. On the basis of habitat, animals can be categorized in different groups. First one is land animals. First one is land animals. These animals are found in different places on land. For example, camels are found in desert. Reindeer and polar bears are found in cold polar region, etc. Some animals like ants and termites live under the ground. There are some animals like monkeys and squirrels that live on trees. Children, animals are found in different places on land. Some animals are found in desert areas like camels while some are found in extremely cold areas like polar bear. Some animals are live under the ground like ants and termites while some live in holes like rat and snake. Rats make hole in the corner of the wall and hide themselves in covered places. Some animals are also there who live on trees like monkeys, squirrel, etc. In the following picture, you can see the image of the animals who live in different parts of land. Now, the next one is water animals. There are many animals that live in water. For example, jellyfish, whales, crabs, fish, octopus, dolphin, shark, etc. Children, some animals live in water. They cannot live without water. These animals are known as aquatic animals. Some examples of aquatic animals are fish, dolphin, whales, jellyfish, crabs, octopus, etc. The shapes of their bodies help them to move in water. In the following picture, you all can see the image of few aquatic animals. Now, the next one is animals that live both on land and in water. Animals such as frog, toads, crocodile and turtle live both on land and in water. Besides these, there are animals like birds that spend most of their time in the air. Children, some animals are there that live both on land and in water. The most, they mostly have four legs that help them to move on land. Some have webbed feet that help them to swim in water. They are known as amphibians. They breathe in three ways, by gills in young ones, by lungs in adults and through skin. Frogs, toads, crocodile and turtles are some examples of the animals that 
लिव बोथ ऑन लैंड एंड इन वॉटर इन द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर यू कैन सी द इमेज ऑफ फ्यू एम्फीबियंस नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज हाउ एनिमल्स मूव एनिमल्स मूव इन डिफरेंट वेज सम एनिमल्स लाइक स्लग्स स्नेल एंड स्नेक क्रीप ऑन द ग्राउंड वाइल अदर्स लाइक स्पाइडर्स कॉकरोचेस एंड एंड्स क्राल एनिमल्स मूव इन डिफरेंट वेज चिल्ड्रेन डिफरेंट एनिमल्स हैव डिफरेंट बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर ड्यू टू विच दे मूव इन डिफरेंट वेज फ्यू ऑफ दैम क्रीप फ्यू ऑफ दैम क्राल सम ऑफ दैम स्विम सम ऑफ दैन रन एंड हॉप वाइल सम ऑफ दैम फ्लाई लेट्स हैव सम एग्जाम्पल्स सम एनिमल्स लाइक स्लग्स स्नेल एंड स्नेक क्रीप ऑन द ग्राउंड वाइल अदर्स लाइक स्पाइडर्स कॉकरोचेस एंड एंड क्राल In the following picture you can see the image of few animals who creep or crawl Water animals swim to move in water Birds fly from one place to another they have wings and a light body that help them to fly Some animals such as kangaroo and rabbits hop Animals like cheetahs and deer are good runners. Now the next topic of this chapter is bodies of animals. Most of the animals have a head, a pair of eyes and limbs. Snakes and earthworms are examples of animals that have no legs. Animals such as horses sheep and goat have four legs while others like butterflies bugs and ants have usually three pairs of legs birds have one pair of legs wings and feathers and a pointed mouth known as beak fishes have no legs but they have fins which they use to swim there are many animals which have tails for different purposes children most of the animals have a head a pair of eyes and limbs they have different kinds of legs wings heart bones beaks feathers and scales some animals move with the help of leg while some do not have leg at all such as snakes and earthworms fishes also do not have legs but they have fins which help them to swim they have gills that help them to breathe birds have wings which help them to fly they breathe through lungs they have feathers and pointed mouth which is known as beak some animals such as sheep goat horses have four legs other than these some animals are also there that have tails such as dogs monkeys cows buffaloes they use their tails for different purposes children most animals have long or short tails which are used for different purposes tigers cheetahs and lions use their tails to balance themselves while making sharp turns when they run many animals also use their tails for brushing away flies and other insects from their bodies some animals like dogs wag their tail to show their feelings now the next topic of this chapter is food habits all, all animals need food to survive and grow based on the food they eat animals can be placed under the following categories children animals depend on plants and other animals for food we know that different animals eat different kinds of food so on the basis of food habits animals can be classified into three categories first one is 
herbivorous animals or herbivores second carnivorous animals or carnivores third omnivorous animals or omnivores first one is herbivorous animals or herbivores the animals that eat plants are called herbivorous animals children the animals that feed only on plants are called herbivores or herbivorous animals some examples of herbivores are elephants deer cows goats horses etc children these animals include both small animals like butterflies and big animals like elephants with their teeth they can bite and chew plants some herbivores like deer cows elephants and horses are green eaters while most birds eat grains squirrels and parrot eat nuts earthworms grasshopper and silkworms eat leaves in few in this picture you can see the image of few herbivores now the next one is carnivorous animals or carnivores the animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivores or carnivorous animals children the animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivorous animals or carnivores some common carnivores are tigers lions frogs foxes in the following picture you can see the image of few carnivores now the next one is omnivores or omnivorous animals animals that feed on both plants and flesh of other animals are called omnivores or omnivorous animals children the animals that feed on both the plants and the flesh of other animals their teeth help them to eat both types of food some examples of omnivores are ducks cranes crow etc here in this picture you all can see the image of few omnivores now The next topic is uncommon animals. Many animals are not seen commonly in our surroundings. Sometimes we see them only when we visit a zoo or a national park. Such animals are called uncommon animals. Children, there are many animals which are not commonly found. these animals are not found in other places on earth except in their region we see them at zoo and learn about them from the books or the internet some examples are kangaroo penguin panda polar bear koala bear etc children In the following picture you all can see the image of few uncommon animals Children some animals lived a long time ago but they do not live anymore they are known as extinct animals Some examples of extinct animals are dinosaur and dodos Animals that are in danger of becoming extinct are known as endangered animal some endangered animals are the giant panda bengal tiger and blue whale now the next topic of this chapter is how are animals useful to us there are many ways in which animals are useful to us dogs cats and parrots are some common pets in our homes cows buffaloes and goats give us milk ox and bull are helpful in plowing field
donkeys and mules useful in carrying and transport in goods and people camels and reindeer serve as means of transport in hot desert and cold regions respectively hence goats and fishes are part of non vegetarian food sheep camels goats and yaks give us wool silk worms are the source of silk honey bees are the source of honey hens and ducks give us egg children other than these earthworms mix up the soil their digging loosens the soil and makes it fertile silk worms give us silk which is used to make clothes lizards also help us by eating flies and mosquitoes which helps in preventing disease caused by them that's all about the explanation part of this chapter thank you